Hi there, welcome to Whispering Pines Farms YouTube channel. My name is Jennifer Johnson and I raise sheep for their wool. In this video I'm going to be skirting localus fleece. She's one of the ewes in our flock of soft Shetland sheep and her fleece is going to be available in our auction and what I'm doing is making a video of each of the sheep whose fleeces are going to be made available in the auction so that you guys can have a really good idea of you know the fleece that you're looking at. So I'm just trying to get as much information out there about the fleeces in our auction as possible. This is Localus fleece. She's a black ewe and she has this very interesting little patch of like a light gray. It, I didn't see it the first year that we harvested her fleece. We brought her in as a year, one year old. She wasn't born here. And then this sort of just <laughs> started happening. Um, okay, so Locala, she is five years old and her spinning fineness is a little on the high side for us. It's still lower than the 28 prickle factor. It's 25.3, which, you know, still qualifies it as a super fine fleece. And um, she's got a pre-skirted weight of 54 ounces. One thing I'm observing is this fleece is very dense, nice and compact. Really well-formed locks, so I'm going to make it really easy to comb it or flick it. So I'm just going to start skirting. So skirting is that process where you remove the wool from the perimeter of the fleece so that there is nothing in the primary fleece that is dirty or full of VM. Just, you know, whatever the wool that's not of the quality that you want. Now, if I'm skirting for myself, hold on a second. If I'm skirting for myself, I am a lot less aggressive. And when I say aggressive, that means I'm taking a lot of wool, a good amount of wool from the fleece. Because I don't mind a little VM. I can, you know, usually just get that out with the flicker pretty easily. We coat our sheep. I don't know if that was made clear. So the coating is, to, is designed to keep the wool clean. Sometimes people ask me, you know, is it to keep the sheep warm? And no, it is not. That's, it's for um, keeping the wool nice and clean so that it's easy to, easy to process. Okay, so here we are still working on the neck. Now I'm going around, this is her front leg. That comes off. Sorry about the bag noise. I'm starting a new bag, so I'm <laughs> right at the bottom of it. So here is her bridge wall. And I just heard a clang, which means there's a tag. Little well, tags which do not get put in with the comb top. Those go right into my compost bin. I'm using belly wool from the shearing. When the, when the shearer shears the ewe, the sheep, he takes the belly wool and just puts it in a waste heap. So we grab that up and I use it in my garden as mulch. Keeps the weeds choked out and keeps the water in. Okay, so there we have localus fleece nicely skirted. short bits. So with the fleece, what you receive is you get a copy of the Micron report and I make up a little data sheet which has a picture of the U. I mean, a picture of the U, her Micron information, and just other data about her, how old she is, you know, just little interesting tidbits about her, just to add a little more color to your experience working with the raw fleece from a farm. Okay, so I skirted it. I gotta get some photos now. So one thing um, that's kind of special this year and a little different from prior years is I'm working on the, the fleece skirting process. I'm doing it in this new addition to the barn. It's just got a concrete floor and my handling equipment's in here, so I, you know, I normally use it for when I got to work on the sheep or whatever. 
but this is working out beautifully. And so I get to spend time here with my sheep. So this is the nursery. All the moms and lambs are hanging out in here until it's till that day when I decide to let them go outside. We're done with lambing now. Everybody's had their lambs, so stress is off of me a little bit. It's a very warm Sunday afternoon. I've got all the fans off because they are so loud, but as soon as I get done here, I'm gonna turn them back on. All right, so let's get a photo of the full fleece. And then we're going to take a photo, a little wedge of uh, from the side here. And then we're going to look at her skirting or her um, shearing quality. So this fleece was a sheared fleece. We're going to take a look at the shearing quality. It doesn't look so too bad. Locola doesn't rue, so you're not going to have that thing where there's a little weak spot at the base of the staple. It's pretty much going to be pretty consistent overall. So that looks pretty good. I wouldn't complain. There's her funny little white patch there, <laughs> like a little moon. Moon spot. All right, now let's get the sample. It's nice and, there's a lot to this fleece. It's nice and dense, I like that. Okay, there's the sample. It's pretty nice and crimpy for a 25 micron fleece. So it's a little bit more than three inches long, which is good. And it is what it is. Sometimes longer fleeces are, like if you want to do long draw, it can be a little bit trickier. Great. So I'm going to write that down three inch length. So the data that I'm writing down here it's all pertinent information that helps me to decide, you know, if I want to breed with her, if she's going to help me achieve any particular goals based on the data, or if I want to sell her, send her along to another farm that could use what she has to offer. And then obviously I use all the data for the fleece auction, you know, the, the skirted weight, the staple length, and all the information is here. And then what I'll do is I will staple, I will tape to the Micron report for Locola, her individual report on the back. So I've got everything I need on one little card here. It's, we've used these for a few years and really like them. So I'm gonna go ahead and sell this one. The shearing quality is great. Put this in my sale. Really nice. So that was Locola. Make sure I covered everything I wanted to tell you. Yeah. So I do send a notification when the auction begins. So I'll be putting fleeces up there here one by one as I get them um, skirted and everything. So you'll see them going on the site, but you can't purchase them. When the auction begins, then you can place your bid. The auction lasts a week. And then you'll be able to, um, you know, when the auction closes, if you're the highest bidder, I'll go ahead and ship it. Usually I ship it within a couple days, so I try to get it turned around pretty quickly. All right, let's get this final weight on Localist Fleece. Eight point two ounces. It's a nice big fleece. I think that's a nice one. All right, well that was local law. So thank you very much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you can come back soon.